everyone, my name is Allison King and today I'm going to be doing a clothing and book haul. I'm a little bit tired because I just came back from a week long vacation and of course we bought books, we saw Paper Towns and did all that jazz, plus it was a board retreat that my family has gone every year since I was 9 years old. So there was a lot of hanging out with old friends and family, so a lot of things happened, but I still made time to not only order clothes from the great store that is Hot Topic, but also go to the bookstore. That was backwards. Where I got this handy tote bag and a few books that I would like to show you guys. Stonecrest Books, I don't know if you guys have ever been there, they sometimes can have great finds, like things that you don't usually find in the store. There were so many this time that I almost overbought. Like I was going to buy more and my dad, and who went with me, because he was so nice and decided to buy me the books, was like, you don't really need that much. I mean, you brought a suitcase full of books with us, and look at your shelves. You barely have room for books now, which, I mean, is true. But as a book collector, you look at those, and you're like, but they could be on my shelf. And he's like, well, we could order them online. So finally I obeyed. They let us get this bag. And luckily, this was the only one in this type left, but I thought it was hilarious. I like big books, and I cannot lie, because that is true. And let me show you what I got. Ah, it's caught. Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. This I've heard about multiple times on Pulling It In His Books channel, but recently in her video she featured it. The joke I think it was about Kat borrowing books from her, and so she held her copy of Daughter of Deep Silence hostage. But from that video, it seems like her parents were murdered. And she has to go on a plot for revenge, and I guess she either finds that revenge is worth it, or it's not. We will find out. Ooh. Also, can I say, this book is cover is so beautiful. That was another thing that struck me in the Suncrest bookstore. They have like five different young adult section used and new, and all kinds of stuff. And when I was looking at this, I was just like... All of these books have such great covers and how much the covers have gotten better over the years is like amazing. It's almost like you can't really look at a book by a cover anymore because so many of them are good. It could have a horrible story like okay I'm probably going to lose a lot of subscribers but I hate the Maze Runner. Well the Maze Runner has a beautiful cover and they just keep getting be better and better. Like I mean I'm not sure, I don't really like people on the cover because they make you, they don't let you imagine the main character. But we will see how this turns out. Sorry, I shouldn't do this every time, but I do. Where I bend out of shot. Um, then we got The Wrath in the Dawn by Renee Ahedon. Okay, I don't know too much about this because from what I've heard, it's kind of like intrigue, mystery, politically. But so many people have raved about this. Recently, Sasha Allsberg on her channel talked about it. But apparently it's about a king who takes a new wife every day or every night and he kills them the next morning. So the main character volunteers to be his wife because her friend was murdered. And apparently things are not all as they seem and characters are not who they, we think they are and the plot thickens. And that's all I really want to know. This kind of strikes me as almost a We Were Liars story where you should just walk into it knowing nothing because that's how you're going to get the best experience out of it. There. That way I don't have to bend over every single time. And lastly, I have Cruel Beauty, who I actually had a friend that I met at Barnes & Noble who we discussed books because, you know, Barnes & Noble is my stomping ground. Like, the people that I meet there, we discuss books, we exchange um, ideas like, you should read this, recommendations, that's what I was looking for. But I've heard so many people recommend this, and my friend, who I actually ended up buying the air for, said, her name is Ashley, she was like, oh, you have to read this book. And some of my other friends have read it. Plus, I was just in the Beauty and the Beast musical, and it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. That's all I really know about this book, but it just seems like a wild ride, it seems fun and awesome. And lastly, I got The Invasion of the Tearling. I wasn't the biggest fan of The Queen of the Tearling, I mean, it was a good book. It was a good premise. I didn't really 
care for any of the characters or like any of the characters that much, but I want to know what happens, and this is just such a beautiful book, and so many people have talked about the Queen of the Chilling and the Invasion of the Chilling series that I would like to see where it goes and see how I feel about the second installment. I don't know if it's a duology, I don't know if it's three books, and I can't really give you a synopsis without spoiling you, so I'm not going to. Now we move into the clothing portion. I had a whole bunch of Hot Topic dollars that I had saved up so that I could spend during this week. And of course it was the week that we were on vacation. So my parents, their computers use the payment a lot easier than mine because mine is a Chromebook. So I was trying to figure out ways that they could help me. And it ended up being like $90 worth of cash. So I got a lot of fandom things. First is um, a tank top with the evil queen from Once Upon a Time, which I'm obsessed with, that says extremely good at being bad. Second is a Killian Jones or Captain Hook shirt, which is also a tank top. And it says somewhere out there is my ship and all I have to do is find her. Which at first I was like, is that a euphemism for something? Because I didn't really get it. And then one of my friends explained it to me. Then, because I have an unreal obsession with Benedict Cumberbatch and Sherlock, I got one of the few Sherlock's that they have that I don't own yet. And it says, I believe in Sherlock Holmes. It's kind of spray paint. Here is another Sherlock tank top. And it says 221B Baker Street. Okay, I showed these to the rest of my family because they're like, oh, what did you end up getting? No one got this. No one got the Sherlock Lives at 221B Baker Street. I was like, okay, you don't get my book references, but this is normal pop culture. Then I got Dark Swan. So excited for the season. I think Pops is a TV show where I have seen all the behind the scenes footage and pictures. I have watched all the interviews. And I have an idea of what happens, but I have no, like, picture. I have no plans or ideas. I'm like, okay, this is going to fit somehow, which is really good writing and stuff and keeping things on the down low because I am a big fan and I still have no idea what's going to happen. I mean, I can't say anything without spoiling people. <laughs> then I got a Moriarty shirt, which is also from Sherlock. Andrew Scott says, honey, you should see me in a crown, Moriarty. This is a Once Upon a Time tank top, and it says a hero is only as good as his villain, which is totally true. Like, books, if their villains are not very good, then the heroes don't really have anything to fight against. Then I also have a Fault in Our Stars tank top, and it says some infinities are bigger than other infinities. And then I have a Sherlock quote, which is completely hilarious, and of course there's been Nick Cumberbatch's beautiful face, but it says, what is it like in your funny little brains? And then last of all, I have a Battle of Five Army shirt, which, okay, this was already on clearance, then they had a 20% off sale, then I had a Hot Cash, which is what Hot Topic uses, so this was basically free, but it's Gandalf and Battle of the Five Armies. I hope you enjoyed some of my fandom merch. I hope you will tell me if you've read any of these books, how you think. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will have a couple others up soon, since it's almost a book to with that. Goodbye!